two billion passenger rides in 40 days. That's China's annual travel nightmare that sees most of the country traveling back home to visit friends and relatives for the Chinese New Year. For those traveling by train, a ticket is hard to come by, and the state monopoly on the railway isn't helping. China's Ministry of Railways owns the monopoly on the country's vast rail system. It strictly forbids the sale of tickets without a license. But the ministry's own ticketing system has long been criticized as a complete failure. With the Chinese Lunar New Year fast approaching, this is a problem for an estimated 225 million people expected to travel home by rail. To get around the official online ticketing system, a programmer developed software to facilitate online ticketing purchase. It proved so popular it crashed the railway ministry's ticketing site. But that hasn't stopped state-run media, the Global Times, from defending the state monopoly on the railways. In an article on Monday, the newspaper said privatizing the railways would be a disaster. But for millions of travelers, it already is. It's absurd that the railway will turn into a disaster after it's privatized. Privatization will bring proper market competition. This will benefit consumers, bring down prices. It will also improve efficiency and also prevent corruption. But it appears railway authorities are determined to keep a tight control over ticket sales. Earlier in January, a couple from Guangzhou province was arrested for selling tickets without a license. Mr. John and Ms. Moore charged a small fee, around $1.60, to help migrant workers get a ticket. Many saw it as a great service. Migrant workers don't have the luxury of time to wait in long lines for a ticket. Many are computer illiterate, so they can't get tickets online either. But now the couple faces up to three years in jail and a possible fine of over 25,000 yuan, that's almost $4,000 all for trying to make it easier for others to be reunited with their family in the new year. The annual holiday travel period will start on January 26th and end on March 6th.